Hi guys, welcome back. So like I promised, I will continue to make this um, series uh, one video at a time. So today we'll be focusing on the moon. So how the Igbo people relate with the moon. The moon is also called Onwa. Onwa is the Igbo in, uh, translation of the moon. I don't know if you watched the other videos where I talked about how the Igbo people relate to the sun, how they relate to the sky and the clouds. If you have not, please um, go back to those videos because some of these are still interconnected. But yeah, it's very interesting seeing all the different pieces together. So please also subscribe to this video and I mean this channel if you have not like this video, comment and share with your friends and loved ones. Okay, let's focus on the moon. So the evil people interact with the moon a lot. In fact, the moon seems to be that beautiful bride, you know, that is very lenient, not harsh like the sun, you know. <laughs> so the, the moon is, is quite an interesting celestial object. And it do have so many um, social um, connection with the evil people. So let's let's take it one day at a time. There is something called the Igbo calendar. So the Igbo people have their own calendar, which is um, very based and surrounded around the moon. Um, moon. The moon is also called lunar. <laughs> surrounded around the lunar calendar. So there's also the moon calendar. So the Igbo calendar is based on the moon calendar. Actually, they call their own calendar Oma, which is the same name as the moon. So the calendar of the Igbo people share the same name as the moon's Igbo name. Okay. So in this calendar, there are four market days. These four market days make up one week. So I'll give you the name. It's called Eke Ore Afo Mbo according to the way I call it. So it's like Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, Monday, that's how it is. Okay? And they form the week, which is called Izu. So this week we have seven weeks that makes up one month, and then you have 13, rather 12 months. In fact, if you want to ration that with the normal calendar, you will get 13 months, but it's actually 12 months, but because it's like seven weeks, um, that you end up finding in one month. That is why <laughs> you can get it looking like you have 30 months, okay? And so it's quite interesting um, because you that gives you 28 days that make up one month, 28 days. So the, the evil calendar, is it's like a very perfect astronomical alignment with everything else with the cosmos and it regulates the season it regulates everything else that the evil people believe in the agriculture navigation if you if we have to uh, do some fishing it regulates geography you know mathematics and even travel in general so like the lunar calendar is very much used and I, it's still even being used right now i'm talking to you and it's quite interesting because i hear some festivals and some events happening and you i think it just i used to think it just you know because it used to but earlier i would realize that um, or later I realized that this we are happening at a certain time in the Igbo calendar so an example is a planting season so Igbo people will typically plant around the second and the third month. And then depending on what you plant, harvesting starts from the fifth month. And then the seventh and the eighth month, you know, some other harvesting happens around that time, especially the harvest of yam. And this is why we have the, the new yam festival in the eighth month. So the new yam you harvested we celebrate, okay? So <laughs> New Year Festival is a festival of celebration and is surrounded by yam. Everything has to do with yam, you know, roast the yam, pound the yam, do all kinds of things with the yam in celebration. Okay, so all of this um, 
event are happening at a particular time according to the Igbo calendar, which is very much the moon or lunar calendar. So it's quite interesting. There are also other festivals like the Masquerade Festival. Um, there is even the Ofala Festival. There are so many other festivals that I do not know some are specific to different um, towns in, in Igbo tribe. Okay. So these are different things that are connected to the lunar calendar. Um, another interesting thing about the moon and its connection with the Igbo people is the different phases of the moon. So we have the, the crescent phase, we have the half moon, we have the full moon. Okay, so the full moon is the most popular one because it shines um, so well, it kind of illuminates the night, the night sky. And that is one of the beauty, you know, when people have to sit around um, to have these stories, it's usually when there is a full moon. So the moonlight stories, I remember when we were small, we always enjoyed that period, probably around 10 p.m. You know, um, this is very different because in the modern days, you should be sleeping by 10 p.m., okay? <laughs> but then 10 p.m. is when you're just finishing dinner and everybody is, you know, hanging around waiting for moonlight stories. And um, those folk tales were quite interesting. We talk about animal kingdoms, those kind of things. I miss them now. But yeah, they have to have one when there is a full moon. And it's because of how brilliant the moon looks at this time. And it's usually a part of the story they are telling also. also. <laughs> you know, some of the stories are connected with these celestial bodies. So the moon needs to be out in full. And then you also see the stars, the beautiful stars that light up the night sky. So we have the moonlight tales in connection with the moon, um, with the moon. And, and then the eclipses. Um, if you have not uh, watched our video on eclipse, I will ping you. I will advise you to check out our video on eclipse to understand more on about what eclipse is about. But yeah, the, the lunar eclipse seem to have this reddish appearance. And as a result, uh, it makes the Igbo people to interpret that as some form of danger or evil. So <laughs> color red is naturally regarded as danger. So anything that shines red sometimes can be you know, interpreted as evil. So when we see um, that eclipse happening, it's interpreted as a sign that um, there is like maybe the gods are angry and some kind of evil is about to happen to the people. Okay, so, and different types, different parts of the evil tribe have different, slightly different interpretations to this as well. So it's possible that your own people are thinking that it's a good thing. But generally, I think the evil people think it's a bad omen to even see that lunar eclipse in the first place. This is, you know, which is why I, I think it's important to talk about these things because in as much as we appreciate um, our knowledge, appreciate the effort, the science that our ancestors did, it's also important that we know the um, scientific interpretation to what is going on. So when I mean scientific interpretation, it is actually the real interpretation. So it helps our knowledge, it helps us to act properly and accordingly. So um, that time I know that as a result, you want to hide, you want to, you know, the, the course of action is different as, a, <laughs> as opposed to now that we know what it really is. So the course of action differs depending on what you know, whether what you know is correct, what is not, okay? But it's still very important that we, you know, respect and preserve this knowledge because whether it's correct or not, it took us through those times. <laughs> okay, so that is for the for the moon and catch me in the next video for another object that I will be talking about in connection with the Igbo people. All right, take care.